Skaven have finally been launched for Total War Warhammer 2. Um, another big release this week here. Uh, we got the Skaven in-engine trailer, the cinematic trailer from the ritual action going on. We got the Skaven roster reveal on Friday. We've got a embargo being lifted tomorrow, actually, um, from what I've seen on this, on the Reddit. And uh, some, of the, some of the publications, like Eurogamer, are going to be covering some uh, little little playthroughs, little 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 action tomorrow. So there's there's a lot of excitement this week with the Skaven. Uh, we didn't, uh, at least I didn't expect the Skaven to be so quickly released. But then again, they were they were teased pretty heavily before we got like the Great Dark Elf trailer and everything like that. So you know, as, as these videos typically go here, I'm going to go over the in-engine trailer that we see. You, you can tell it's up right now. I'm going to go over the units that I see um, and a lot of what people have already seen on the subreddit. There's a lot of really good uh, action in this it's trailer and it's it's kind of hard to take in because it's like flashing and then like there's bolts of lightning all over the place. And you kind of know what's going on. And then a fucking like gnarly tooth skavens like gnawing at like a high elf tit. Like it's just so sort of fucking crazy. I love it. But we're going to walk through this today. We're also going to go through the uh, cinematic trailer. I'm sorry, the uh, campaign intro right after. Um, and we'll just kind of talk about the three lords we see in that. People have been just all up in arms about what they see in that, and I'll talk about what I see, and we'll, we'll go from there. On Friday, we'll hear exactly what's going to be in this given roster, but let's go through this together. Yeah, lots of flashing. Okay, so like just, just right off the bat, got some rat ogre action here. Oops, got some, oh, oh. Ah, uh, God, look what I've done. Some rat ogre action. Um, the play, the screaming bell. Some plague sensor, I'm sorry, plague glob plague wing globadiers are right here in the background. So right off the bat, we have three amazing models that have been shown. Um, and I will, at the end of this video, have a link to the Skaven lore video I did. Um, please excuse the uh, constant coughing and throat clearings and everything like that. But I've, I've gotten better, I swear. But... Um, we can see here that we, we've already gotten three really big reveals. And we we get from the Skaven Lore video the details on each one of these units today. I just kind of want to touch on what we see. Like right here we see little wind globe deers and probably these are uh, Skaven, uh, either Skaven clan rats or, or slaves. It's hard to tell really. Look more like slaves. A giant, big, erect stone penis. Lovely landscape. Need some work done to it. And cool thing here too is, so we see the uh, dark, the black art corsairs right here. We see some uh, just normal dark shards. So our yes, dark shards. I think were the spearmen. I can't remember the spearmen now. Yeah, there's bleak swords, dark shards, and oh no no no, these are not the dark shards are the uh, the crossbowmen. Sorry, but moving on. Got some temple guard action, some saurus here, an old blood. Got our uh, our lore. Got some witch elves in the back. You can actually see too. I think we actually that we missed. Let's jump back really quick here. And see very faintly the harpies and the lightning flashes. She looks pissed. Oh, oh, oh. Queek is looking gnarly. Ah, there we go. That's the harpies I was talking about. Some rat ogres in the back here again. And that looked like. Right in the front here, actually. Uh, it could be... Well, it's probably actually a weapons team, but it almost looks like a Warplock Engineer. And the Warplock Engineers are the uh, caster class of the Skaven that, fo uh, that uh, focus on Ruin, whereas the Plague Priests focus on Pestilence. Clearly in the front... Okay, these are a ton of little Skaven slaves. Um... The slaves are usually, they don't have armor, they don't have shields, they're just there to absorb damage, just kind of eat the, they're just fodder, you know, just chaff as it is. Old blood going to war, we see a sorceress, oh, um, critical reveal here, guys, uh, the corset is in. That has been fully revealed, the Hot Topic corset uh, did make it to the final uh, development build. But we see right there in the front, these are going to be some normal clan rats because they've got the, the shield kind of combination going on. A little more armor on them. Sorry, right there. You can get a little bit more armor on them. They're not as upright and as burly as the Storm Vermin, which we see later. And uh, people have noticed that this, like, uh, so we have the uh, the 
the sun engine and we actually see the chameleon skinks this is the first time we've actually seen them we've only really seen like um kind of very very distant glimpses but here's the little chameleon skinks skinks prox scar in the back there I think. so actually jumping back here again so we jump around a lot in this video because so much happens so fast it's it's really hard to, to keep a good uh bearing on but these look like plague monks not with sensors there's plague monks and plague monks sensor bearers we'll see them later i think that actually the sensors are right here um, but these are just going to be they look like they have like a smock on like a a normal monk habit but they've got uh, actual weapons involved and jump right out into the fray there they are there there's a there's a sensor bear right there uh that big huge mace with the glowing ball on the end of it is a plague uh, sensor bear so we'll, we'll get this going right here womp right there this is so fucking rude so that steganon got smashed by what a lot of people think is the uh, warp light warp lightning cannon uh I didn't, I didn't really ever look at it as green. For me, it always kind of... I pictured it as blue, but if that is the way it looks, because you know, Warp Lightning and the rest of this is all green. But we have clearly the Doom Wheel just scything through scything through town. Um, you know, the best Uber looking to do the best jobs with the five-star ratings. And we have the first view. Okay, so these are definitely... Um, they could be Night Runners or Gutter Runners. It depends. Um, gutter Runners are the lesser version of the Night Runners. But we have, and uh, jump the gun right there. There's our storm vermin, um, very very iconic storm vermin. He's got the red of the storm vermin and everything. Him being even Clan Moore is even more so red. Uh, this is the heavily armored uh, halberd infantry unit of the Skaven. So expect to see something that's going to be some AP, some anti large. Um, some charge defense probably against whatever um, they're probably going to be quick I'm imagining that all Skaven are going to be quite fast on their feet so we'll see on Friday really what what their kind of statistics are going to be more like but uh, clearly here we've got this action we've got our runners the night runners and then we have the warp fire throwers um, as we've seen here the, the Skaven have access to a bunch of weapons teams They've got the warp fire throwers. They've got their rattling guns. They've got basically like the little mortars and a little lightning, like basically handheld lightning cannons. So tons of tons of options here. Um, we haven't seen the warp lock Gisales, and I'm kind of upset about that so far. Um, this could either be Lord Skrulk himself, uh, or it could be just simply a plague priest. Lord Skrulk does have this giant. Um, there's a very specific name for it, um, but Lord Skrulk has this giant book. That he keeps with him and this this book has actually like kind of been like his iconic um item it's called the liber bubonicus and it's he does have a similar staff like this as well he's got basically this he's going um, to different colleges but oh that was weird he's got this he's got this uh huge staff that kind of doubles as a, a sensor um but i don't think i don't recall him having a horn he's got like little nubby horns but it looks like they, they might have kind of taken some some uh, direction on this and, and add a little bit of uh, a different approach. And I'm I'm quite okay with that. But Lord Skrulk is probably going to be the other legendary lord along Quick Head Taker, which we've seen from the campaign intro. Rat Ogre action happening again. And look how furious those fucking things look. Quick Head Taker making a pop in. Just maniacal after afterward. A dark dragon coming to save the day, but not against a beautiful hell pit abomination. Um, we can definitely see some scaves and clan rats here as well. Right there and there. Oh, that, I mean, like, this is probably one of the coolest in engine trailers. Outside of the initial launch one for me, like, holy crap, that's so fucking cool. And if you really, really, really are really doubting that Quick Head Taker is still in this game, you think that was a Storm Vermin, that is, that is Quick Head Taker's mall that we've talked about before. Look how twitchy he is. Good God. The amount of methamphetamine that Quick Head Taker is on. Like, where are we going? Where are we going? Are the cops here? The cops here? The cops are here? Oh my God. Let's park the car. Park the car. We're leaving. The cops are here. Shit, 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 shit. And look at that thing. So, we've done now the... Um, the in-engine trailer now let's take a look here at the campaign intro movie and this was uh 
deep. Really, only, re and I, I'm, I don't want to uh, make this as loud. I, I really want you guys to, to go and watch it and sit down and listen to everything that they talk about. Um, because it does have a little video. You got your Skaven clan rants as well there. Um, but this was done from the ritual. We've got uh, what looks to be uh, some more uh, storm vermin, some more just Skaven as a whole. Um, there is a bit of contention, though, as to who these lords are. Uh, the As we've talked about as well from the Skaven uh, clan video, which I'll have linked here at the very end. Um, Skaven are ruled by the Council of Thirteen. And the Council of Thirteen, and this is a pretty true representation, by the way. The entirety of the Warhammer map is covered in Skaven. Um, so some mechanics that we know about that are, that are going to be in from the uh, Eurogamer uh, article are the ability for the Under Empire to exist. And that's really exciting because the Under Empire means that basically all the ruins that they inhabit are still going to appear as ruins to other factions. And when you go to loot those ruins, um, it's going to either maybe be a ruin or be a Skaven of Under Empire entryway and you just... You just landed yourself balls deep in some Skaven, which is just not going to be fucking fun. So um, on top of that, too, the army itself has the capability to just stalk, uh, not in, the, in an ambush mechanic, but it's constantly hidden. So it allows you to move on the on the uh, tabletop or on the, uh, the campaign map, the overworld, uh, with a lot more ease here. This is really cool here. We see uh, all the uh, Council of 13 members. Um, I'm unfortunately not... I wasn't the biggest Skaven player, so a lot of the Skaven players can look at this and go, oh, this is this guy, this guy, and this guy. I unfortunately don't have that. If this, if this was like the Phoenix can, like the Phoenix Court, ah, oh, man, my nerve boner would be bursting through the Blue Yeti right now. But unfortunately, I wouldn't be able to call, to call out all these Council of 13 members just by looks. Um, the way it works is there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And I deliberately did that to show that this place is held deliberately vacant uh, as a representative spot for the 13th spot who is the horned uh, rat himself so it's kind of a representative spot and every spot outside if you if we're looking at this here's the 13th spot um, so 12 and 1 11 and 2 uh, 10 and 3 9 and 4 8 and 5 so on and so forth down the line these two being the weakest and these two being the strongest. Your proximity in relation to the 13th seat uh, dictates your strength, quote unquote, um, amongst the council as well as Skavendom as a whole. But I can't point this guy and go, oh yeah, that's that's definitely a rat rat tit gif bomb, uh, king of the peanut butter lands of, of clan uh, uh, choosing mom's shoes best. I, I don't know that, unfortunately. Um, for those of you that do, you can definitely call out, see what you say here, or... Um, Say what you see here, because in the books they do talk about which which members hold which positions, but not all of them. They talk about I think the eleventh, um, the twelfth, the seventh, and the eighth seat, all held by the various great clan uh, great clans. But it, I, there's no actual like, hey, here's here's all twelve seats. Here's who sits where. A little bit further. Some people think that, so this is a different Gracier than who we're about to see. The Gracier are the horned versions, the, the, almost the priest cast. Um, okay, so a lot of people seem to think that this is Thankwool. Uh, clearly this is Queek Head Taker. Um, he even says, you know, Clan Moors, all that action. I don't know if I see this as Thankwool per se. Um, Thankwool has had a lot of different iterations over the years. Um, this is, get this forward, but this is definitely... Uh, What's his name? Uh, Lord Skrulk. Uh, we 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 know that for sure. And now I guess after looking at this this image with the book strapped to his back, the mini in the tabletop, he's holding the book in front of him. So this definitely is Lord Skrulk from the uh, the in engine trailer that we just saw. But I don't necessarily see this as Thankful. Thankful in uh, um, the tabletop doesn't have horns like that. He has like green glowing horns in the end times. And in uh, the times before that, you know, 8th edition or 7th edition, because he didn't get an 8th edition upgrade, um, he just has these curved horns. So it's hard to say if that is him 100%. Um, and I'm, here you go. I'm going to throw up a, a quick image here for you so you can see what he looks like from a model standpoint. Um, it's not to say that that's not him, because clearly 
uh, creative assembly is taking liberty, liberties with how they want to portray their lords, which is great. Because if I were to take those horns and not make them green, that would look like uh, uh, Thankful. Because as we progress forward, we're going to see a little bit more of a reveal on his staff. This is this is not his staff. His staff has kind of got like a lot more going for it. Um, they talk about the, uh, the the whispering demon here, um, the whispering eye of vagina. No, so there, there's some heavy hints to vermin lord action happening here. Maybe that will be one of the uh, things that happens as a result of um, certain certain things happening on the campaign map. That's a pretty big thing to note because we have things like. A cold one's appearing out of nowhere for the lizard man and stuff like that. Maybe there's the ultimate option for um, this Gaven is to have a vermin lord appear. So this staff right here is not necessarily his staff. His tail does not look like that either. Like I mean, look at how we're like completely di like dissecting this. We're gonna find out in, f in on fucking Friday if that's thankful or not. <laughs> but I mean like. A lot of people seem to think it is. I, I haven't seen anything truly conclusive because Thankful's horns don't look like that 100%. Um, and his staff and, and tail are, are not really like that from what I've seen. Um, it's got just kind of like a normal tail from what I what I look at all the models and what I've seen from all the art. And actually his horns are pretty fucking big and scary in the art. So... Someone said that this is uh, Lord Skulk's master, but I think they were, or, I'm sorry, Lord uh, Finkel's master, but I think they were kidding in the, in the subreddit. But we definitely have some uh, some more Storm Vermin here. You know, your Shock Trooper, uh, Glaive-type infantry, Halberd Slash infantry of the uh, Skaven. I'm really excited to see these for High Elves and Dark Elves and such. But again, I, I, I didn't let this just kind of roll. I wanted you guys to uh, to really go back and find that yourselves. Um, here, I'll, I'll scrub back here so it doesn't look like I'm trying to give an advertisement. <laughs> um, perfect spot. Way to go, Italian Spartacus. Fuck, you're a genius. But um, again, I, I wanted to go everything I saw here today, guys. Hopefully you guys saw more stuff that I didn't see and you want to talk about it in the comments. Please uh, let me know. Let me know what you saw. I'd love to weigh in on it and say, hey, yes, I agree. Or, hey, no, I know. I don't really see that. Uh, half the fun of doing this is is conversing with a lot of you guys and getting a lot of uh, your ideas out there. It's a good soundboard for you guys just as much as it is for me. But I'm really excited to see uh, what we get tomorrow from the embargo lifting and, and, and from uh, a lot of the other YouTubers as well as some of the other people that are uh, uh, doing publications. I'm, I'm excited to see Friday when we get the full roster reveal to find out are Warplock Gisales going to be in the army, yes or no? Are Plague Priests going to be a Lord choice or are they just going to be a hero choice just like a majority of other casters? What's our Warlord going to look like as far as it's customizable options. It's mount options, if any. Uh, the mount options from the from the ga from the uh, tabletop were actually from the Forge World, even though they were in the book. So uh, I'm excited to see them bring Forge World models into this. They've already done that with the Skin Wolves. Um, so it's no, it's needless to say that they're they're not afraid to do such things. They have the entire repertoire at their uh, disposal. But uh, this covers everything. So at the end of this video, I'll have three videos. Uh, one covering the Skaven clans, one covering the Skaven lore as a whole, and one covering the Skaven magic. So hopefully you guys can get pretty much all your Skaven dumb out of the way before Thursday and Friday and your experts going into it. Um, and if you have any other questions, guys, as always, please just let me know. But uh, thanks for watching today, guys. Have a good one. Take care.